friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a very hard contract let us observe management of this surgery this is the main incision at mid limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose Visibility is quite good in this case, so I didn't use tripe and blue dye. Visco is applied over the cornea and visibility improves. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And then capsular excess is done with the help of uh, Eutrita forceps. hold the capsule tag and go all around and as I come near the 3 o'clock position I go a little peripherally to make the rexis a little larger. Hydro dissection is done, small amount of BSS is injected at multiple points and then the nucleus is rotated and now the antechamber is filled up with visco again and then the phaco needle is introduced the phaco needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up I took help of the left hand to turn the handpiece exposed part of the tip is quite adequate the nucleus is pushed little down the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through it for a distance and then the chopper is used to crack the nucleus into two heminuclei. In this case the nucleus was brittle and it divided completely into two heminuclei. This does not happen always. In some cases the posterior leathery fibers are so stubborn that they do not tend to give in and now this seminucleus is being subdivided into two large fragments it is rotated and now one piece is tilted and emulsification of the piece is started from its apex. If we tilt the fragments, the smooth equatorial part of the fragment broad based rests on the posterior capsule. If we do not tilt the sharp pointed end of the triangular piece may go posteriorly and exert pressure over the posterior capsule at a point. My thinking is this starting from apex is friendly to the posterior capsule and with this technique I have not found posterior capsular rent by the fragments. This is the last piece at this time the vacuum and flow rate is reduced. Before this the vacuum was 450, flow rate is 45, now it is 300 and flow rate is 30. 
ultrasonic energy is same all or all from beginning to this point it is about 85 percent nucleus is managed you can see the rexis it is larger it is gone to periphery at three o'clock very little cortex is there, some amount of cortex is there at 2 o'clock and 12 o'clock, sub-incisional area. The wound is enlarged a bit because I will use a B cartridge, white bore B cartridge and wound assisted delivery I usually do not do because it causes lot of stress to the wound and if the wound is stressed then there can be a leakage from the wound but if the wound is wound size is little larger if it is not stressed if there is no fish mouthing then it will not leak checking the wound if it is adequate if found it is okay so it didn't enlarge more and now here goes uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens and the capsular bag. And now whatever viscose there in the lumen of the cartis comes out by irrigation. And we are almost done. little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with bases. Then a final a lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time a gentle jet of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium through the aspirating port and the posterior, the back surface of the cornea becomes clear. The antechamber is formed nicely, integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of mox is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.